everybody, I'm Dana Scheider, and in this video I'm going to explain what a negative number is. Most students struggle with the idea of negative numbers a lot, and that's totally normal, but that doesn't mean you can't learn them. If you can add and subtract, and are familiar with the number line, you're ready to understand negative numbers. If you aren't familiar with those things, go ahead and watch my three earlier videos on this playlist, and you should be all set. Most people learn this stuff for the first time between ages 10 and 15 or so. If you're about this age, there's probably a really simple reason negative numbers are hard for you, and that's just that you probably haven't run into very many situations where negative numbers are useful yet. One of the biggest problems people run into with negative numbers is not understanding the point of them, which is totally understandable. For now, though, you might have an easier time if you set this question aside. You'll find out the whys of negative numbers soon enough. The place to start with negatives is the number line. In my previous two videos, I showed you how the number line starts with zero. The numbers get larger moving from left to right, and smaller moving from right to left. Well now, we're going to look at the same number line, but we're going to put zero in the middle. The numbers still get bigger going left to right, and smaller moving right to left, but now we have numbers less than zero too. These are negative numbers. Like positive numbers, numbers bigger than zero, negative numbers go on as far as you want them to. In fact, for every positive number, there's a negative number that's the same. So there's a negative six, a negative two-thirds, a negative three billion, any number you want, there's a negative number too. Negative numbers have minus signs in front of them. The sign means the number is negative and doesn't have to do with subtraction. But if it helps, you can think of the negative sign as meaning the number is subtracted from zero. It's less than zero. Using the number line, negative numbers make it possible to subtract anything from anything else. Up until now, if you've had a subtraction problem like 2 minus 5, you've had a problem because you can't go lower than zero. Now though, you can solve the problem just by starting at 2 on the number line, and moving 5 to the left, just like solving any other subtraction problem with the number line. When you do that, you end up at negative 3, and sure enough, that's the answer to 2 minus 5. One place where you might have run into negative numbers before is with temperatures. In order for it to snow, it has to be 32 degrees Fahrenheit. You may have also heard that 32 degrees Fahrenheit is the same as 0 degrees Celsius. So in order to snow, it has to be zero degrees Celsius. But can it be snowing and still get colder? You bet, so that means it can get colder than zero degrees Celsius. If you've ever heard somebody talk about sub-zero temperatures, this is what they mean. The temperature is negative some amount of degrees. It's less than zero degrees. One final note about the number line. Like I said before, when you go from right to left on the number line, numbers get smaller. That holds for negative numbers as well. If you start from negative one and move left, you get to, say, negative five. That means that even though five is more than one, negative five is less than negative one. Five less than zero is less than one less than zero. Number line doesn't lie. So that sums it up. A negative number is a number less than zero. I know negative numbers can be hard to understand, and I hope this has helped make it clearer. If you still have questions, though, post them in the comments section, and I'll make sure to answer them. No question is stupid. I promise you, if you have the question, someone else does too. My next video is going to be about integers, and then I'll do a couple about adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing negative numbers, so please subscribe if you think any of those will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching.